Welcome to the channel, Larry Resolves, where we play a different deck list every video on Country Fried. And today, yep, <laughs> we're doing it. it. Hurts my soul. So let's need a chance. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so yes, we are playing Celestia and Chance. Look, I wanted to try and do something that was more viable on the ladder. And this comes directly from another content creator, uh, Average Gamer. If you guys haven't checked him out, please do so. Uh, great content creator, edits all of his videos, kind of makes it funny. And he ran this on the um, event and went 7-0 and with it. So I was like, man, let me give it a shot, see how viable it is on the actual ladder with the meta and stuff like that. And it did really well. I mean, we went 3-0 and with it. So the games, you know, kind of get a little intimidating at points. There are points where I could see we lose out. But uh, for the most part, it works really well. Now, is it the best package? I don't know. Is it his original package? I don't know that either, but that's where I saw it. So that's what I'm going to link to the video. So if there was anybody else that had this specific package out uh, beforehand, you know, forgive me. Feel free to leave it in the comments below. But this is where I saw it, and that's who I'm tagging for it. So let's take a look real quick. For our creature package, we have four Generous Visitors, four Spirited Companions, four Kamies, four Jukai Naturalists, and three Katilda Don Hearts. So Generous Visitor, anytime an enchantment comes into play, you can put a plus one, plus one counter on any of your creatures. Spirited Companion comes into play, you can draw a card. Kami Transients is an absolute pain in the ass if you're playing against it. It's 2-2 two, two for 2. It's got Trample, and then whenever an enchantment lands in the yard, then, or whenever uh, you cast an enchantment, you get to put a plus 1, plus 1 on Kami, and then, of course, if it dies and another enchantment dies, then you get to return your Kami's from your graveyard to hand. Jukai Naturalist is a 2-2 two, two lifelink, and enchantment spells you cost are one less to cast, which is our entire package. Our entire package is enchantments. And then Katilda Donhart Martyr, it's got Flying Lifelink, Protection from Vampires, and then Katilda Donhart uh, Martyr, Power and Toughness for each, uh, are each equal to the number of permanents you control that are spirits or enchantments, which is a lot of our package, our entire package. So uh, it's a really good card to have. And then, of course, it's got its Disturb cost where you can bring it in as an enchantment and attach it to a creature. And then that creature has all the same attributes as before, the Flying Lifelink, Protection from Vampires, and the plus one, plus one counters. Uh, we got one Machiko's Reign of Truth in here, which is where I think the package deviates a little bit. I don't know if it's better this way or not. But it ran really efficiently. So Machiko's it comes in. Target creature gets plus one, plus one until the end of yeah, turn for each artifact and enchantment you control on level one and two. And then you exile it and bring it back, and it gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment or artifact you control. So it can get really out of hand with this. But I think I like the package better with four of these, to be honest. However, I can see where you can make an argument for teachings. Teachings drops a 1-1 spirit, which works with Katilda. And we got three of these. Level one, you mill three cards, create a 1-1 one, one, uh, colorless spirit creature token. Level two, put a plus one, plus one counter on a target creature you control. And then level three, you exile it, you bring it back. And then whenever it attacks, you can exile a target uh, creature card from a graveyard. And when you do, create a 1-1 one, one colorless spirit creature token, which works with Katilda. Or exile a target non-creature card from the graveyard. And when you do, you put a plus one, plus one counter on a target creature you control. Then we got Restoration of a Ganjo. You search your library for planes. Level 2, you can discard a card and bring back a card, mana value 2 or less, from your graveyard to the battlefield. If it's a creature, it comes in tapped. And then Wedding Announcement. Uh, and then, of course, you exile it, bring it back. It's a 3-4 with Vigilance. Every time it attacks or blocks, it creates a 1-1. One, one. So the 1-1 one, one Spirit Tokens still working with Katilda. So I see where these two go. However, I really missed Machiko's in this because I think it's just over the top, especially with Kami having the uh, Trample. Wedding announcement of four of dropping one one human uh, creature tokens on the battlefield for us, or unless we tack in with two or more creatures, then we draw a card. And then once it gets three counters or more, it flips, and that all your creatures get plus one plus one. And then we've got Leyline Binding, which I love this card. This card's absolutely phenomenal. It's phenomenal in this package. This was not a mistake. It's an absolute add. It is four of. Uh, it's five colorless, one white. It's got flash. It's got domain. So it costs one less for each basic land type you control. And then if you got Jukai Naturalist in place, it's even one less than that. So you can get it down to just one white on Flash. It's a beautiful card. 
For our lands, we've got one seed of a ganjo. We got seven plains, one besiju who endures, four forest, four overgrown farmlands, and then to help with the domain for the ley line binding, we've got four jet mirrors gardens and four spars headquarters. Now remember, you can use these to get them in place, so you can flash ley line binding it a whole lot easier. However, once you get to a point, you can also just start using these to cycle, which you'll see in the gameplay as well. And besiju can kill off uh, enchantments or artifacts. And then your opponent, or non basic land, and your opponent gets to search for a basic land and put it into play. <sighs> and then Iganjo, you can hold it, use it, and then of course you can discard it uh, for its channel cost, and it deals four damage to target attacking or blocking creatures. So just a little built in combat trick. Guys, I do have cards in the sideboard as suggestions. Other ways you could play around with this deck list. We'll cover it at the outro. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Forgive me for trying this absolutely painful deck. <laughs> it's so easy to play. So funny, though. But it's really good, guys. It worked really well on the ladder. So if I was going to suggest this, I'd say definitely take it on the ladder and have a blast with it. Because it worked. It worked really good. We went 3-0. and I'm not going to tag the video undefeated or anything because people seem to have a problem with a 3-0. and uh, But it worked really well. I don't think uh, there was maybe only one time that I felt like we had a possibility of losing, but even then we were still pretty much in control. So, uh, yeah, it's a good package. Strong, strong for the ladder. So with that, guys, Celestian Chance, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I'll see you at the end of the outro for the uh, sideboard suggestions. And until then, stay safe, be happy, and healthy. Peace. We'll see you guys. All right, opponent goes first. Yeah, I mean, we'll keep. Why not? Hopefully they don't have the removal. Then we can go into Spirited Companion and add what an announcement, but if they do, they do. All right, we'll go to, yeah. Definitely go to Kami and go in. Man, we may have to bite the bullet here soon. The hell are these things? Brawlers? What is this, man? What is going on right now? We'll get ready for the uh, flashing of the binding. So are they going to take it straight to three? Pretty good. It's pretty good.
Okay. Yeah, we'll block up with the dogs this time since we got restoration of a ganjo that we can bring down. So they now have a basic land. Wow. They gotta have a basic land, right? Oh man, don't tell me. Okay, I was just, oh, okay. It doesn't even have to be a basic land. See? The crap. Interesting. See if they want to double block everything. Oh, they got a binding of their own. Nice. That was pretty spectacular. That was pretty spectacular. Kind of getting outvalued here. I 
like your style, dude. Damn. Cleo, my cat is going crazy down here. She wants some attention? Is that what you're doing? So what'd they do? They give me a hook? They'd have to get rid of everything? Okay. Titan of industry. Gonna get rid of my Jukai naturalist? I would. I guess you'd get rid of a ley line. Hmm. Decisions. The tide would have to go. I don't know if that made any sense at all. I really don't. Here it is, Jukai. What the hell? Okay. No attacks on this one. We're just really big now. Alright. GG's. <laughs> Damn, man. Zim. Why? GG's. This month's Patreon rewards feature some of the most impactful lotuses in Magic's history. Check out all the details and sign up at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, opponent goes first. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. Yeah, we should be able to work with this. We're definitely gonna send Kami out as a decoy because they're probably holding Flame Blessed Bolt. Sure. 
Cleo. Baby. Go be a dork somewhere. I know this deck list. We're getting trounced by it right now, by the way. Um, so let's go here. All we gotta do is outpace them, so I don't even know if I block on this. Yeah, so let's go here. And here for blockers. Nah. Well, girl, they can have burn spells. Thundering Raju is a good one. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's get aggressive. They only have the one trampler, which I'm not too worried about. Sure. All right, GG's, Rory. Hey, at least they took the advice. If it peters out on mono red, if you don't have it closed out fast enough, there's no coming back on it. That's why it's such a good deck on the ladder. You're either burning through a win or you know it's over and you concede and then you bail out. I don't know that it was over. It was pretty close though. So it was just a matter of blocking up correctly, but GG's. Opponent goes first, uh, yeah, we'll keep. Yeah, we'll keep. Shit. see what they got going on we may have to use ley line it just depends what they got going what are they just got are they trying CGB's deck that he showed on stream today so we got Lear and Hallbreaker got damn to ferry man guess we know what we're doing this turn
Keep going. Oops. Got to burn down the house. You just like emotes. Watch this. There you go. Come on, Land Lancer. Show me what you got. Depopulate. Binder or something, spell pierce. Memory deluge, holy cow. Nice. All lands, all the time. Figured that one was coming. Stones. Heck yeah. Looks like somebody's running out of some fuel. Just in case if they got another burn down the house. Oh, hell. Well, I'm mute him. What well, good game, man. <laughs> Salty. So we're going to ley line their ley line, take back our. Uh, Katilda. Boom. GG's. All right, guys, there was a gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So yeah, here are some suggestions. You guys have already seen the package. I gave a full description on the deck list on the intro. You guys can copy and paste the uh, deck list. I'll leave it in the description below. But for the sideboard, here's just some ideas that I was playing around with. Uh, going forward, I don't know, man. I really teachings. I get it. I understand why it's there. It's got a purpose, man. I really miss Machiko's. So maybe just to God, man, I may even just do that so we can go three, two, three on that. Um, I just Machiko's is brilliant. And it just asks, especially if you've got Kami, it's almost an instant win. So that's what I would probably change up in the package there going forward. However, in the sideboard, here's some things that I like that I may play around with. You guys can play around with just some suggestions. Nothing is, you know, determined or set in stone that this is just better. Uh, I do miss the borrowed times and the touch the spirit realms and the circle confinements. It's just an easy way to remove the board while you're pushing through. However, I don't even know what we'd take out anymore. I mean, do we take out Katilda altogether? Katilda is really nice. Um, would you take out the teachings altogether? It was really nice. Uh, Machiko's? No, not me. I wouldn't. This card's fuel. 
Um, I just, I don't know what you'd take out. Uh, Layla and Ryan, kind of came in and took the place. The one I really miss is Touch the Spirit Realm. It was just easy to get stuff off the board with it. So that's just me, though, guys. Um, you do have Fang of Shigeki. It's an enchantment creature as well. It's got Death Touch, so it's a little bit of deterrence. People don't like ta attacking into Death Touch, but you got to. You either got to remove it or you got to attack into it. You got to get it off the damn board. But uh, that's why I like running Death Touch creatures sometimes. So Fang of Shigeki is a, a possibility. Azusa's Many Journeys is also a possibility, a cheap enchantment you could drop. You could play an additional land this turn, then you gain three life, and then you exile it and it comes back. And it's a 3-3, three, three, and whenever it becomes block, untap up to three more lands. And in this deck where everything just fuels everything, uh, that could be huge. However, you could also just cast everything into a meat hook and just be empty-handed and could just backfire. So I don't know about Azusa's, but it's a possibility. Shigeki himself, uh, just to bring back non-legendary creatures and stuff, which other than Katilda, which we don't even really want to bring back because we want to cast it on the enchantment side. Um, we don't have any other legendary creatures in here. So Shigeki would work real well in this package as well. Uh, Weaver of Harmony is a possibility again. Uh, used to be ran in this package quite a bit, especially when it was more circle confinement and touch the spirit realm and borrowed time heavy. But uh, now, not so much. So Weaver of Harmony is still out there. Uh, we got Roaring Earth. Billy, who frequents the stream and the channel, friend of the channel, uh, loves this card. <laughs> so Roaring Earth is a possibility just for something new and stupid. Uh, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature or vehicle you control. Yeah, man, it's absolutely dumb. It's dumb. And then you could also channel it, discard it, and put up to X plus one plus one counters on target land you control, and it becomes a zero, zero green spirit creature with haste, but it's still a land. So remember, Besiege you, I think, can hit it if it does that, um, especially if you pick a non-basic land. Now, if it's basic land and you do that, I don't know that Besiege you can do that. Uh, but still, there's all kinds of combat tricks with Roaring Earth. Uh, Jugan defends the temple. You create a 1-1 one, one green human monk creature token that can add green mana. If you tap it, you put plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures you control. Then you exile. It comes back. It's a flyer. It's got a, it's a 2-2. Two, two, and then whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you can pay X. And then when you do, put X plus one, plus one counters on that creature. Um, as long as you control five or more modified creatures, Remnant of the Rising Star gets plus five, plus five, and Trample. This could get really out of control in this deck list. Um, so I don't know. I just, I, I would love to try it. I just don't know what you'd take out. And then Besiege you reaches Skyward. It's a four cost. Uh, you get to search your library for up to two basic lands, forest cards, uh, reveal them, put them into your hand, and then shuffle. Uh, put up to one target land card from your graveyard onto the top of your library. And then you can exile and bring it back, and it gets plus one, plus one for each land you control. I don't think this is a real possibility in this deck, but it's an option. Glorious Sunrise is another one. I love this card, but uh, again, really late game, I think. But at the beginning of your combat turn, uh, creatures you control can get plus one, plus one, gain trample until the end of the turn. Target land gains tap it for three green mana until the end of the turn. Or you can draw a card if you control a creature with power three or more, or earth power three or greater, which in this deck is not hard to do, or you can gain three life. So there's a lot of options with Glorious Sunrise. I don't think it's an option for this deck, guys, but if we didn't have Wedding Announcement, I would probably put Glorious Sunrise in here, but we do have a Wedding Announcement, and you're casting it two turns earlier, and just the value, it outvalues at three cost more than Glorious Sunrise does at five. And then last but not least, Colossal Sky Turtle. If you do decide to go with Shigeki, you got to go with Colossal Sky Turtle because you can loop them. And Colossal Sky Turtle is an enchantment creature as well. It's got fly and it's ward, 6-5. It's a big creature in the sky, or a turtle in the sky. And then, of course, uh, you got the options. You can channel for two colorless and a green. You discard it. You return target card from your uh, graveyard to your hand. doesn't matter if it's legendary or not. And then you can channel it for one colorless and a blue, and you discard it, and you can return one creature to its owner's hand, and that being yours or your opponent's. So Colossal Sky Turtle is an option, and the only reason it's an option within this deck list is because we are running blue so we do have a blue option within this deck list i don't know that it's enough blue to actually consider colossal sky turtle but it's available with the mana that we've got so 
with that guys there's the options in the sideboard i don't think i would switch it up any more than i already have which is taking machikos up to three teachings down to two and restoration down to three um yeah i think that's about all the damage i'm going to do to this package the only other thing that i might do is i may take katilda down to two and put teachings back to four so i really like teachings <laughs> i really like teachings so with that guys there it is deck list is yours now do with uh do with it what you will um it did go three and oh so undefeated i don't care i won't put it in the freaking title but it was undefeated on the ladder so with that guys until next time stay safe be happy and healthy celestia so chance may your day forever be enchanted peace <laughs> see you guys later much love guys